Now, following a week of devastatingly bad testimony uh, when it comes to impeachment, you think the president would have any uh, some sort of substantive uh, attacks against those who have testified to try to, you know, defend himself or uh, make his case, right? That what he was doing was, you know, corruption and, and he just wanted to look out for the country of Ukraine, right? Um, and that the people that are testifying are, are good people, but they're just wrong about the facts. Now, we could have that, but instead, we have this. Look, the ambassador, the woman, she wouldn't even put up she's an Obama person, you know. But I said, why are you being so kind? Well, sir, she's a woman. We have to be nice. She's very tough. Uh, she, I heard bad things. And by the way, when I was talking to President Zelensky, it's right on the phone. You can read it. Yep. He didn't like her. He brought up her name, and he didn't like her at all. How do you have an ambassador with a, the president, the new president? Says, like, because she was so wedded in. This ambassador that, you know, everybody says is so wonderful, she wouldn't hang my picture in the embassy, okay? She's in charge of the embassy. She wouldn't hang it. It took like a year and a half or two years for her to get the picture up. She said bad things about me. She wouldn't defend me. And I have the right to change an ambassador. And Rudy didn't say good things, but he wasn't crazy about it. You know, he, it wasn't like a major topic. But I have the right to change. This was an Obama person. When, didn't want to hang my picture in the embassy. It's mm -hmm. standard is you put the president of the United States picture in an embassy. This was not an angel, this woman, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, there are a lot of things that she did that I didn't like. He's really focused on that picture. <laughs> now, of course, in reality, that's not true either. But it's funny how he hinges this. He hangs this on a picture she wouldn't put my picture up in the office and she's done other bad things that i don't really like oh really okay can you name anything substantive wise uh, or policy wise that she did that you didn't agree with no no not at all it's she didn't hang up my picture uh she was an obama person in fact she had actually uh, served under both republican and democratic administrations uh in her position so, I mean, no, no, no. It's, it's, it's about the vanity, right? So, and of course, it, in case you're wondering, uh, Donald Trump's referring to, of course, through Marie uh, Yovanovitch, right? So that's Donald Trump's former ambassador to Ukraine. She testified, by the way, uh, about being threatened by the Trump administration for not going along with this effort to extort the Ukrainian president into doing these investigations into Joe Biden and CrowdStrike. So, but no, he's, he's hung up on the picture. What, what does the picture have to do with anything? Well, that's because it's Donald Trump and he's using that. And, and I think that, like, this is his strategy. He's using this to say, well, Marie Ivanovich, obviously bad because she never liked me. She's not loyal. That's what that is. Oh, look at this. Never Trumper. This, 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 she's terrible, terrible person. Never hung up my picture. In fact, she did hang up that picture as soon as they got it. I think it was a couple of weeks. As soon as they got that picture, they hung it up because you're supposed to. That's that's State Department protocol, right? When you're uh, an ambassador. So actually, yes, the picture was hung up. So he's lying about that. Uh, but look, it doesn't have to do with anything because there's no there's no substance to these attacks, right? But here's the thing: you don't need to have, if you're Donald Trump, substantive uh, arguments or facts. All you have to do is to have. You just have to have lies because remember, there is a, uh, a, a fairly substantial uh, chunk of Trump supporters that will believe anything he says that have this this cultish uh, mentality towards the president where they will believe anything he says over anyone else. Uh, and so they see this as, oh, pff, more evidence that Yovanovitch was just out to destroy Trump. Je Obama, never Trumper, um, wouldn't put up his picture, didn't like him, never liked him from the outset, and she was, and she's now out to destroy him because she got fired. That's all it was. Oh, there, she's just mad that Trump fired her for doing such a terrible job. Of course, no proof that she did a terrible job. But again, Don Donald Trump. She was not sufficiently loyal to him. And so, of course, he, he got rid of her. Now, of course, uh, presidents do have the ability uh, to appoint and, and remove ambassadors for sure.
but this was not based on doing uh, you know a poor job. This is just, hey, you're not loyally uh, loyal enough to me, and you're not willing to go along with my schemes. So I'm going to get rid of you and put someone in there who will. It's a uh, look. What they're trying to do, of course, is uh, to have people ignore her testimony by destroying her character. Right? You destroy your credibility. You attack her personality to de- basically distract from her testimony. And we see this uh, for basically anything, any witness that goes against Trump. Sondland's one of the um, the latest. Uh, although Sondland, what's interesting about um, that so far is that he hasn't outright attacked Sondland because Sondland gave him a million dollars during his uh, during his uh, his campaign. And so he says, "Well, Sondland, I, I didn't really know him." I'm sure he was a nice guy. Sondland and Trump, look, Sondland had Trump on speed dial. Barely knew him. Coffee boy. How many coffee boys did you have? There's a coffee boy. And besides, I I would be more inclined to believe that he didn't have coffee boys. He had Diet Coke boys. The same uh, with the amount of Diet Coke that he drinks. Uh, But okay. Hey, that's what this is, right? Um, We see this being used. Gordon Sondland being attacked well not quite being attacked but distancing himself from Sondland uh Trump is and then of course the attacks on Vinman and the attacks on Vinman have been incredible so much so that he's asked basically the military like to to put him into protection because he's worried about violence against himself already uh Laura Ingram said he was essentially treasonous to the country that he was uh working for Ukraine Right, because he was Ukrainian born. I mean, just a horrible attacks. And Sondland hasn't seen it yet. But I'm sure as the days go on, he will. Uh, and as we've seen already, Marie Ivanovich also getting massively attacked, as you can see here, uh, s- uh, smearing her character. Uh, and it, again, it, this is all a desperate uh, attempt to kill the messenger because this testimony is so damning. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc., we're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYTNation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.